A battle between two cleaning brands, both sustainable, both with pros and cons. Who will win the battle of the cleaners? Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, welcome. And as the title says, I am going to be comparing Blue Land and Clean Cult products to compare and see which one is better for you. I'm not gonna go over some of the Clean Cult products like the tablets, the dishwasher, laundry tablets, also the dish soap, just because Blue Land doesn't have that. So I want to compare the products that both companies have. So let's get right into the first category. So the first category is shipping. Now, there's not a lot of information on their shipping practices with Blue Land. So I actually got an email from Blue Land this morning, which is April 28th, 2020, and they announced that they are now carbon neutral, which is amazing. That's great news in my book. Clean Cult ships carbon neutral. They have a partnership with carbonfund.org, and that is a huge, huge plus for me. So they both both win this category, it's a tie. So the next category is the packaging. What did it come in? Was there plastic involved? All of that jazz, because sometimes there are sustainable brands out there that ship their things in virgin plastic packaging, but both companies had cardboard boxes they had paper tape and then like the filling inside was also either cardboard or paper. So both of these scored fives for the packaging just because they did a really good job. So A plus to Blue Land and Clean Cult on that front. So Blue Land bottles are made out of an acrylic, which is kind of like a thick plastic. It is plastic. But let me show you what happened to one of my Blue Land bottles. It split at the fill line. So if you have the Blue Land bottles, you know what the fill line is. There's like this little dot and obviously there's this line. So what's frustrating is that they make these in two components. When I first got this, I looked at the bottle and I saw this line. Like it looks like they just glued it together and it made me nervous, but I gave them the benefit of the doubt because they were this really good sustainable brand. So I tried it and I kept feeling like the bottle was leaking or something. Like, and I was like, oh, it's probably just the nozzle and it's in my head. It's my first time using it, da da da. I used it like three times. I picked it up from the top here and it just came apart super easily. I never dropped this. I never threw this around. I was never hard with it. It's frustrating when they call these forever bottles and that happened after like three uses. I had barely used it at all and it's just annoying. Also, I don't know if you can see this. This is leaking right now. I haven't sprayed it anytime lately because I've been using the Clean Cult. That little bit right there and it's on the end here. I can wipe it. You see how it's on my finger? It's like, why are these leaking? They should not be leaking. They're just not as high quality as I expected. I like their tablets, not a fan of their bottles. And then the Blue Land soap just looks like this. It's a glass bottle. It is a foaming hand soap. It is glass, so if you have kids, be careful, obviously. But I do like that this is glass. My recommendation is that if you already have previous cleaning bottles, just use those and don't buy the Blue Land bottles. That's just my opinion. Let me talk about the Clean Cold bottles. Okay, so the Clean Cold bottles are made of glass. So it's this really cool kind of frosted glass look. And then the bottom has this silicone covering. So it's super nice for like slippage, especially with my soaps on the countertops. Like if my countertop is super wet, because of the silicone covering, it's not gonna like slide across the counter. I really like these bottles. They're really high quality and well-made in my opinion. 
So overall, I would rate the Blueland products like a two for the packaging, and that's simply because of my bottle cracking. I don't know if this was a batch, that was just a bad batch, I don't know what happened, but I know other people have also been having cracks in their bottles. As someone who's like reviewing products on the internet, like I don't wanna recommend something to you guys if I've had a bad experience with the bottles, so I don't know if they're forever bottles like they advertise. Uh, with the clean cold products, I would rate it a four. Um, and I wouldn't give it a full five just because some people won't like that it is glass and that it is a little bit heavier than like a plastic or an aluminum. But overall, the quality of the bottles are wonderful. So the quality is a five out of five. For me, it's a five out of five. So let's talk about the quality of the products themselves. So with clean cult products, to me they seem a lot thicker and kind of richer, if that makes sense. A little bit goes a long way with the clean cult products. I really like them. They seem very, very high quality. Now with the Blueland products, you're obviously getting a watered down cleaner because you're adding so much water to it which isn't necessarily a bad thing at all. Like when you go to the store, a lot of the cleaning products have a ton of water in them. So they're very similar to like stuff you're gonna buy at Target, like a Method or something like that. With that being said, it kind of depends on what your personal preference is. I personally really, really like the Clean Cold products. I just feel like a little bit goes a long way with those products, whereas with Blue Land, I might be using a little bit more just because it is more watered down. But with that being said, with the Clean Cult, all-purpose cleaner, for example, if you use too much, it can get a little bit greasy. So overall, I would say that the Clean Cult products are higher quality, but the Blue Lind products are also a really good quality. They're just very different. <laughs> They're more like the conventional cleaners out there. So Clean Cult, I would give a five out of five, but I would probably give the Blue Land a five out of five also. They work well, they clean the surfaces, they do what they're supposed to do. So I'm gonna give them a five out of five on how effective the cleaning products are. So I really do like that Blue Land has three different types of cleaners. They have their multi-surface cleaner, they have their bathroom cleaner, and they have their glass and mirror cleaner. So I do like that they have kind of separate cleaners for that, because obviously they're gonna do different things. And then the foaming hand soap is good does the job. I do really, really like that they had like holiday scents this past year. I am someone who always wanted holiday soaps and I get suckered into that marketing. So it's nice that I can still be sustainable, but still kind of have those scents during that certain time of the year. With the Clean Cult products, they have very different products. Like they have stuff I'm not really gonna talk about in this video, but the main things to compare this to are the multi-surface cleaning spray and the hand soap. So they do have a dish soap as well, which really like and the hand soap does the job and the multi-surface cleaner does the job. Most of the time I just used vinegar and baking soda to clean my bathroom and stuff so the bathroom spray wasn't a huge like deal breaker for me and same with like the glass and window cleaner. There are pros and cons. Clean Cult has a lot more different products but Blue Land covers all of like the cleaning sprays that you would need. Let's talk about the refills that both products have. The Blue Land cleaners have these little tablets that come in just little tiny wrappers that are really cute. And these wrappers are compostable and they are recyclable, but they are number seven. So a lot of people do not have curbside recycling for number seven. So that's something to keep in mind. This is really amazing that these are compostable. They're in these cute little milk cartons. So with cartons, they're made of three materials, plastic, aluminum, and paper. Some people don't have carton recycling at their curbside recycling program. You don't want these ending up in the landfill. So if you do not have carton recycling 
at your home, I wouldn't recommend buying these. And obviously recycling is not the answer to our climate crisis. So if we can cut down recycling as much as possible, that's awesome. Now let's talk about price. These cartons, they run around $6.95 each. The Blue Land cleaners have these little tablets. Those run around $2 or less depending on how many you buy at once. So the more you buy, the less you're paying. Blue Land costs less for the refills. Blue Land is pretty great that those wrappers are compostable. I personally like the Clean Cult scents more than Blue Land, but both smell really good, especially Blue Land's holiday hand soaps. So drum roll, please. Who is my favorite? <sighs> My favorite is the Clean Cult products. I think they're really high quality. The bottles are a lot better in my opinion. If you guys have tried both of these brands, let me know what your favorites are. That's just my overall experience and what I like. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I hope I will see you in my next video. Remember, you do not have to be perfect to live sustainably. I will see you guys next time. Bye!